Hey hello everybody, my name is Kate and welcome back for another video of Bio Mutant. We're gonna continue this series. It's been a while uh, since I've actually played the main storyline, but uh, we're back to it finally. I've been uh, grinding the game, uh, the hell out of the game ever since uh, I was doing the other games in the meanwhile, right? So uh, let's continue the series, boys. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We've got Gulp over here. What I wanted to do, I wanted to show you guys really quick. I already chose three of my four seats uh, for the arc and stuff like that. So I will show you in a minute uh, in the map system. So we're going uh, for the arc itself. These are the three guys I chose. Uh, obviously, uh, Goop and Pebble are already part of it. Or Goop and Pebble actually are not part of it. So that's the, all the people I've talked to about it. So there's Trim. He's in it. That's the guy way above in the background. He's basically a guy that uh, does haircuts and stuff. He seems like a, a cool dude. So I kind of took him and stuff. Uh, Click is the guy that is on the far right. He's a really cool dude as well. I don't really remember what he does. Uh, he gave me the uh, level, the upgrade for the clunk fist and stuff like that. So he works on metallurgy and stuff, but the reason why I took him is because with my character it would make sense. He does like the Sifu. He, uh, he likes the Sifu quite a lot, boys, so that makes sense to have him on my side. And then there's Maya, uh, the witch, as you can tell her, the weird witch and everything. I want her on my side for sure. So I got her a big time. I got the evil dudes are with me. Uh, Goop, I said no to him, and Pebble, I said no to him. Uh, Pebble is the one that gave me the claw bar, claw bar upgrade, and as well as um, a brand new pet, which I do want to show you as well. Uh, I've got a Batnam Nam, so uh, I can't summon him right now, but I've got a brand new pet, boys. So I'll show you in, in video eventually. Uh, so I had a choice right here. There's not, I don't know how many more characters I can find really around the map i could probably talk to this guy and ask him to join the arc but i got a feeling uh he's not gonna like uh i, I got a feeling he doesn't like uh the seafood so i want people that actually like the seafood to be in the arc uh there's gulp there's this guy right here i haven't, un I haven't uncovered yet and the, there's um there's another girl i think uh that i ever uh I need to talk to or I'm doing the mission right now. That's right. That's the that's the girl jumbo. Yeah, or that's the guy. I'm not sure but he's, he basically uh, does uh, some uh, I guess fruits and stuff like that juice for you and stuff. So uh, I got I could I'm, I'm ongoing doing missions for uh, this person right here, but uh, he does already told me then like the uh, seafood. So I'm not gonna help him out. Let's talk to uh, Gulp. I want to see if he actually Gulp likes the sea for or not. Anything once, as long as it's drink delicious, even rocket fuel. He once mixed up some tankers and drank that. It was a real lift off. That leads him to the bottom of that particular bottle, radium syrup. If only so does he he's want to find radius to here looking, so he's counting on you to help go find him a tanker truck and bring back some of that precious radium syrup please making you smarter would be useful yeah i think so as well thinks you're not the only one who what were we talking about again damn oh so we do have to find his radium syrup all right, so we'll go do right now that mission. We'll do uh, we'll go do that side quest right now, boys. Uh, for him, we'll find his radium syrup and uh, help him out get it. In order for the, and once we get that, I think he, I don't know if he likes this uh, the syrup, but if I can have a smart guy in my uh, crew, that could be very useful. So, I want to have. I think I want to have gold in my crew, boys. So. Let's go find out what's going on he here. So let's go get my Google Glide really quick. Let's do this. Luck, We're going to start it out, boys. Uh, now, I still need to upgrade my Google Glide, but the problem is, in order to do that, I got to get past a, pro a big pro problem, which I can't figure it out for the life of me. I think I need an upgrader for something. I need a special mount. In order to complete the, that one place, I... Uh, for that has my uh, upgrades for the Google Glide, so that's uh, that's one problem at a time, I guess, boys. There's a guy right there just waiting for me. 
Well, uh, I, I don't know if I want to talk to him or not right now. We'll see how it goes, I guess. He's probably just going to tell me to to go see uh, that girl or whatever. Or the, the guy, the Climbing juice guy. So I don't care. This Let me just climb down really quick. Of old waste. Yeah, old waste, all right. Let's, let's go right here. We're going to find out uh, his things. Now, normally this, these are things I'm doing in the... In the side as a side quest, right? This is a side quest after all. I'm doing this off video normally, but because I'm trying to recruit uh, Gulp into my arc, possibly, I am gonna do this in video, boys. Why not? Uh, as you can see, I have a brand new sword and everything. I'm full on equipped, boys. You can see I I'm doing a lot of damage. I'm doing over a thousand of damage. Told you guys, I've been grinding this game up big time. My, ter my character is super OP now. It won't be defeated anytime soon. I'm kind of ready to defeat all the world eaters by myself, I guess. At this point, I'm super OP. Also, we got a bunch of stuff. There's probably, yeah, some uh, boss, mini bosses that we got to fight here. Let me uh, just get rid of them really quick. Uh, get him right there. Okay, there's another one right here. Boom, just like that. Keep getting them. All right. And they're dead. All right, all, th all three of those, boys. You can see, man, it's so easy. I'm getting a lot of bio points as well right now, which is very good. Really good indeed. Let's uh, let's keep marching right here. Let's go over here. Interact with this. Good. All right, let's uh, let's keep moving, boys. We got uh, this location. We gotta go here. There we go. So we got some enemies we gotta kill, I guess, beforehand. Fine by that. I'm definitely fine by that. Uh, we got we do have some bio points that I can equip. Now, at this point, bio points, I think I want to use them for biogenetics. Maybe use some powers of fungi. Uh, that could be great. Upgrading uh, this could be very good. Uh, I don't know. Maybe turtle florm or something. Uh, which one would be the best one? Uh, Mud punch, mucus bumble. I think mucus, mucus bumble would be really great. I, I'm going to waste wait to have that actually, boys. I think that's the best option right here. Alright, let's uh, keep attacking him. There we go. We're going to attack these guys really quick. There we go. And we're just going to do all my special powers and stuff like that. Boom. So the, the big dude's already done. Four boys. We did level up. Nice. We are level uh, 29 now. Really good. There we go. Turret is done for. Is there another enemy shooting at me? No, I think we're good. So I leveled up. Let's go back now. Uh, we already have 100 vitality and strength. So we're going to do 100 and of agility. Just like that. Perfect, boys. Uh, we do have some perks upgrade points. So general. Luck out. Let me see if I can't. Uh, it's all level 3 right here. Yeah, it's all level 3. So um, if I want to go, say, if I want to go in that direction right here on the Wang Fu direction. Close combat. On arm. I could upgrade this. So blow mode. Could be good. Blow nodes, cat cyclone. So this one, special attack. Well, I, I don't know if that's any good. One-handed slash. Actually, that's pretty good. I am gonna take that because that's probably uh, that's what I have right now. It's a one-handed slash uh, weapon, so I'll take that. All right, let's get the, that over and done with. Already done uh, some of these things before, so I do know how it works. If I can just uh, manage to jump in there, though. There we go, finally. Interact with this. Uh, oh, shit. There we go, just like that. It's uh, basically a sequence uh, that you gotta do. And there's the water go. There goes the water, boys. Perfect. And that's gonna bring me the item I need. Oh, or maybe not, actually. What is this? Oh, it's like a puzzle. Alright, get that done. And there it is. Completed, boys. Rotation puzzle completed. That should be enough glow juice for two. All right, well, now we just got to return to Gulp so we can fast travel to him, I guess. We're back to Gulp, boys. Let's talk to him and uh, give him the juice he so desperately wants so he can be a lot smarter now. Hopefully he's on my side, though. Hopefully he's on the Gulp Sifu side. He wants to take you with him on a super funny happy slide. Sharing is caring and one drink for two is just right. Gulp says seeing your face is like seeing his own reflection at the bottom of a glass. It never gets old. He's been looking forward to a rendezvous. 
and it's on you to make it happen. There's even a chance the syrup is more intoxicating now from being aged in a radiated tanker. He's sure there are even more tanker trucks with radium syrup out there waiting to be emptied. Well, I, if I found one, I can find another, I guess. Tells you that this time you can make it a double. Gulp says drinking shouldn't keep you from thinking. He wonders what's on your mind. Can you fill me on what's missing? I appreciate that you took me, uh, took time for me. There's something that needs to be done, but what? No, I appreciate uh, that you took time for me. My guy says you're welcome back. Okay. So what do we do here? Defeat Gulp at his own game. All right. Let's defeat him, boys. Okay. Oh, shit. I actually got to drink faster than him. All right. Uh, let's go. Let's drink him at his own game, boys. Oh, I did it. Nice. Chicken Gulp. Yo, I beat him in his own game. That's crazy. Gulp thanks you. Says a drink or two won't do any harm. He refuses to drink alone. You're his friend now. Nice. I'm, I'm your friend too, buddy. I like you. Enough of that crunky syrup. It's so refreshing. Don't you agree? He really appreciated that you shared a drink with him. You took a risk and deserve a reward. What's the reward, boys? So he intends to keep the promise he gave you when you first met. He's got a few things, you see, that no one else has. What sort of things do you have? Claims to understand the all-chemy of drinks. Lots to sample and savor. Gulp says he's heard a juicy rumor that you found an ark. He wonders what kind of drinks that might inspire. It's fast and ready. I think I'm Figures that's inspiration enough for a whole raft of drinks. Just imagine having an ark when the tree of life runs dry. To be able to jet off to some other juicy land. Claims he's ready to toast your attempt to put an end to all this. What better way to go? Oh, he likes it. He likes the end of the world, but I, I gotta take him. I like this man. To know if you might want a master blender along on your arc trip. Absolutely, my guy, you're in. I'm Offer so seat. All right, so they're just gonna tell the. They they always say the same thing anyway. So there we go. So we got gulp. That's our last one, boys. The last guy to go on the arc. Shows him to go along. Says he's going to come up with a glorious new drink for your trip. Absolutely. It's we got a drunk man, a witch. But it's something about flip flop the flip flops and not getting sourced. What do I need to do? That's all for now. That's all for now, boys. All right. So we got the uh, main arc. The arc is complete. Main quest. So that's good. We got everybody for the arc itself, boys. Done and done with. So we got everybody that's going to be safe uh, from the world uh, getting destroyed. That's good. So we got a drunk. Uh, we, uh, we got a drunk man, a witch, a guy that's very that's suspiciously so uh, likes the Sifu, and another guy that just likes to cut uh, people's hair. So that's how who's going to be saved to uh, for the world, boys, I guess. So it is what it is. That's the people I chose right here. So find the unders uh, undersurf hatch. What does that mean? What's that mission right here? Gulp. Oh, that's the mission for Gulp. Uh, I'll do that another time. I'll do that another time right now. I'm tracking this quest. That's the only one that's left, right? Yeah, uh, visit Gizmo. So what is the tree of life? So in short, the dangerous little critters that become mutations. But only move the monster hunter uh, that set up camp on the steep side knows where the nest. So paying a visit would be a great way to start. All right, so I'm just going to visit Gizmo. Uh, defeat. Okay, so wait. So this is for in order to defeat the, the world eaters. Uh, so yeah, okay, so I don't know which one I want to do. So which one is, that's the four world eaters. Uh, okay, no. No, okay, so the tree of life is the four world eaters. Visit Gizmo is the one thing, it's the other thing. Uh, basically, it's the, uh, 
the thing I was already on right now. So we're going to visit him up and see what he's all about. Can I not fast travel? Uh, not towards his position. We're probably going to be on uh, all lucky that place uh, in the meantime. I haven't unlocked that outpost. Okay, that's a problem. All right, we're getting drawn closer to Gizmo's location. This is his uh, place right here. Let's see if there's not a fast travel exploring somewhere. There is a board right here, though. I've already looked at it, it seems like, so it doesn't matter. The Chug Yard, boys. So I don't know if I went there before. I don't think I did. Well, I think I did, but I never went through here specifically. So we're going to kill the, these dudes really quick. Looks like they're attacking Gizmo's place, which is not cool at all. I've got a meeting with, the, with this guy, man. Leave him alone. All right, kill all of them. Kill all of them right here, boys. All right, so there we go. Just like that, man. I'm doing a lot of damage. A lot of damage to all of them, I swear. Got the best weapon available of the game right here, basically. So nobody can stop me, boys. Kill them off. Kill them off right here. There we go. Just uh, keep uh, attacking them. Oh, boy. See, the game, this game is, uh, is lagging, but it's not crashing, you know? It has its problems. I think it's off. obviously the old gen doesn't help. The fact that I'm still so playing games on the old gen, which uh, uh, I'm supposed to be playing these, uh, these new games on the new gen and stuff, right? This is what they're made for. But uh, still, it doesn't change the fact that uh, I'm doing pretty good, uh, you know? So there's a guy right here. Uh, is that Gizmo himself? No, that's just a random guy right here. Boom! Just like that. Take him out right here. I'm going to equip this because this is going to be the fast traveling point to this place. If I need to come back let's here, see. probably will. Uh, let's see. There we go. So uh, visit Gizmo. Pry open the door. What is that? What does that mean? So we got to pry open the door, I guess. Oh, there we go. Do it. I also have the claw bar on the, uh, the second claw bar, sir. We're doing just fine as it is. Kill him. Kill him right here. Boom. Just like that. Defuse the socket. How do I do that? Defuse it. Defuse it. Don't let it go. What the fuck? Yes, Where am I going right now? Anything, oh, this is not good. Limit. Oh, now, shit. Where am I going? First. Oh, God. Watch out. Okay, then. Wow. Looks like I just opened Mid that door. All the way down to the end in flames. Well, it's that was something, some wasn't it? That was definitely more. something. Yes, they built machines better in the past. I right, open this. Elevator taking me straight to Gizmo right here. He's got like a secret base or something. The spent nuclear fuel the toxinol dumped in the surf had detrimental effects on the marine habitats, while the overflowing landfills contaminated the groundwater. Combined, this sent their world hurtling on an inevitable road to ruin. Yeah, that's just what uh, is... That's just what happens, I guess. There's Gizmo, boys. Been a long time since we've seen each other. I need to brush up on my Wando, but I have a feeling he believes it was you that caused the bang at the yard. Yes, it was. It sure was me. Oh, and he says he knows you. You used to call him Gizmo. He gave you the oil-greased hands when he taught you how to upcycle. Gizmo remembers you as a nice kidling, and he can still sense the warmth of your good heart. But Gizmo says how you experience a memory can be different. You know the story, but sometimes the truth it brings is personal. Tell me about my candy hood. Tell me about Lupin Lupin. I remember you too, my guy. He hopes you remember that one time he taught you to upcycle and hopes you've had some use for it over the years. Gizmo says he also has re-memories from the long gone, but unlike you, he doesn't think of the past, for it's gone. He understands history made Lupa Lupin a big part of your past, your present, and soon, your future. You still believe there's some good in everyone. You still have hope for tomorrow. Do I? He says you should know that what's meant to be will always find a way. That history shouldn't consume you. I want revenge at all costs, my guy. 
I'm getting my revenge first on Lupe Lupin and then I'm leaving this place for good with the Ark. Gizmo understands you still have strong feelings, but urges you to keep them under control. You've witnessed firsthand what it'll lead to. Would like to know if you ever doubt the choices you made on the No regrets, boys. To this point. Would you have been happier going in a different direction? I've got no regrets. I'm doing decisions because I know they're the right decisions all the time. Because you're either a rare person or a good liar. Maybe both. Sad to see the Tree of Life is going to die and take everything with it. But it's not like he didn't expect it. Understands why you're bent on finishing the world off. Supposes it's a mercy to make it faster. Wonders if you liked working with the Jagni. They always hunker down in their homes, gathering their things around them. They like shiny things, that's for sure. Says things are important, but life's maybe a lot more so. But that's not important now. Gizmo says it's taken a long time to bring the past up to the present. And where you go from here is up to you. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the Underyard as he has no protection against the vacuum in the dead zone. So you need to salvage scrap to upcycle the Mekton, starting with the old crate outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the Mekton strong enough to fight the Jumbo Farts. What's the dead zone Jumbo Farts strong enough? What do you mean strong enough? There are more crates from before the apocalypse left out in the wild. Easy to find if you keep an eye out. You should be able to gather enough scrap to upgrade the Mekton from then. Good. So the Mekton is basically one of those upgrades, boys, that uh, he's going to give me. I guess it's a big mechanical giant. Look at that. That's the Mekton, basically. So uh, he wants me, I guess. We got to venture into the world. We gotta find a bunch of upgrades and we gotta upgrade that Mekton so it can actually work again. And after that, probably a bunch of side quests that I can do, right? In order to uh, do my thing, so. Hypofuxia zone, this is bad. Uh, I gotta get out of here and fast, there we go. We're out of there, we're good. Now this is trending out, boys. So the mechanic uh, called thing, I think, is one of the few things that's gonna protect me from the Hypofuxia. I have all the suits available to me. But I can't do anything else, right? Aside from that. Oh, I think I made a mistake right there, boys. I'm dead. I'm dead. I shouldn't have jumped down like that. All right, let's try this again, boys, shall we? And this time around, let's not uh, let's not kill ourselves. So there's a pathway through here. I just gotta take this, I guess. This pathway is much better. Whoa! whoa. Take your balance out again. I gotta I gotta make it quick because I'm not protected uh, here. So I gotta literally make it very quick. Before uh, I, I get out of oxygen and stuff like that, right? I don't have any more oxygen. There we go. Oh, I'm good again. Man, that was 20% right there. Almost bad. So, me uh, Mecton parts. Let's get those. Probably going to be a bunch of side quests from that that we're going to be able to do afterwards, right? To upgrade it. We got some sort of... Uh, oh, okay, so that's just the uh, upgrade itself. Now, where do I go back from there? Oh, I guess uh, I just jump up right here. There we go. Just like that. Now, uh, I gotta keep moving. Oh, where do we... Wait. Where do I go from there? Because, uh, do I need to go up or something? Or probably, I think I can... Yeah, I think I can go up, but, uh, yeah, this is gonna be a problem. Let's keep going up. Oh, okay, I gotta... I can just simply do that. Okay, that's perfect. Alright, we gotta get out of here. Don't like this place, man. One of the few places I can't protect myself. I have all the suits available to me right now. But uh, the one thing I don't have right now is this, the mechanical, which I needed in order to get through certain places. And also need the Goo Glide. Telling you boys, I need a Goo Glide upgrade for sure, for Christ's sake. Need to go into the, all the water as possible. Otherwise, there's some side quests I can't do. He says that's enough to get the Mekton functional. You'll have an engine, a fuel soaker, 
a gun and a gathering net, but no armor, nor enough oxygen supply. Okay, well, what's a fuel of soccer? He made a suction device so the Mekton can use the black tar as an instant refuel. You can also use it to clear oily goo puddles so you can pass and access hard to get to areas. Nice, I like that. He's been working on another project for the Mekton, a cannon, but it needs ammunition. And by that, he means the strips. He says if they're trained right, they'll turn into a distraction for the jumbo pup. <laughs> the best way to find strips is to go talk to Mood. He knows the ins and outs of every breathing thing left alive after the apocalypse. <laughs> Unfortunately, this means you'll have to venture farther out into the dead zone than Moog's camp on the steep depot. Once you find Mood, he'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find scripts. All right, so um, tell me about Moog, I guess. Gizmo thinks he's a little peculiar, but very knowledgeable. He has the ins and outs of all monster and creature whereabouts. All righty then, so customize the Mechton, jump on it and use to call the mount button. So it's a mount, boys. Uh, very much like it. Now we can go in without being affected by the dead zone, which I very much like. Uh, that's really nice. Can cross the oil pools, but you can use it to remove the oil to suck up the oil. Oh, that's really nice. So I can remove the oil pools all together and stuff. Oh, that's perfect. That's probably going to help me out. Instead of the goo guy, I can probably do that as well. I like that quite a lot, boys. The grease monkeys I like that quite a lot. Sturdy. Just like himself. Can you imagine how this place used to look before the dead oil flood? Yeah, let's get uh, uh, rid of all this. That's really nice. I like that quite a lot, boys. All right, so uh, Moog knows. Ask, ask Moog about the, the squibs or whatever it is, uh, it's called. All right, we'll do that. Now, this thing is not fast, world, but at least I'm like staying alive in here. Place. And now, I got some places I can go at, so that's pretty good. Let me uh, get all, everything that I, I see right here. Can I get that? Oh, I can't get that goo, uh, that goo right here. Okay, so I can't. I, I guess I can't get that goo for some reason. Don't know why, boys. It's not letting me for this one. Whatever, I guess. Uh, it's do, it's not really jumping. Oh, it, it is. Do I have a rocket? Oh, okay, all right, I got you. So I, I got to jump right here. How am I going to talk to him? I'm in the dead zone. You really want me to jump here? All right, ass move. Over there Come on. Okay, so I can't. I got to get out of here. All right, so this is going to be risky right here. All right, I guess. Let's just jump up, boys. Quick. Quick, quick, quick. Jump, 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 jump. Not the easiest jump before I die right here. Oh, okay, uh, in the attitude. I have to do that. I'm going to be all right. Oh, it's going to be rough, man. Moog. It's dangerous out here. What are you doing? Let me unlock this place first. I can fast travel here, so far out into the dead Let's zone, see. boys. All right. Look at this. So uh, this is another guy I didn't know about. I could have probably, if I had liked him, I could have probably uh, taken him to the Ark. But everybody's taken for the Ark now, so can't uh, can't get anybody else. So yeah, the uh, upgrades are right here, boys. Some side quests for the upgrades. I knew it. All right, let's just talk to this guy, though. He's got like a, a special this thing behind him. To see you out here. He figured you'd be dead by now. Not many are as tough and clever as you must be. What are you doing here? How do you know me? Who are you? Says he's a monster hunter. The best you'll ever see. Mook says that all your power doesn't do you a bit of good if you're not willing to pull the trigger when the time comes. Out there with the monsters, it's kill or be killed. Which will it be for you? You might have a steady aim, but you need to be sure that you pick your targets with care. It's hard to make those life or death decisions for others, but someone's got to do it. Otherwise, they'll do it themselves and you know they'll miss. So you kill whoever you like? Claims he mostly kills whoever he doesn't like. 
That's... I guess that makes sense. Dies, there won't be any monsters left. What will he shoot then? Good hunting, Robert. Gets why you're thinning the herd so hard, but he wishes you'd leave some monsters for everybody else. Hunting, why I'm foodly a hunter. Approves of you working with the Jagni. They have the hunting spirits of a flock of hawks. Say, I should have waited before, uh, well, I already took, I should have waited before taking the trim guy. Uh, I could have had Moog on my ship and stuff. He seems like a really nice dude. He likes the Jagni, likes everything like that. So uh, it seems like a really cool dude, but too late for that. Already taking everyone, boys. Enjoys it when he gets the chance. Though they're not much good against monsters. But enough of that, right? He says the wildlife, nature, has changed and turned against us. Instincts of survival took over when the world changed. He's not sure about their veggie diet anymore. And if it's changed, who knows what it's done with the chemical composition of their body output. Right now, though, he feels he's come to a point where he's got a pretty clear idea on the whereabouts of monsters, both tall and short. Should we eat uh, meat instead, my guy? Says he's not sure, but if you're going to haunt something, it seems a waste not to eat it. Moog says you must learn to walk before you can run. It takes practice before you can call yourself a monster hunter. Fortunately for you, he can help. He understands you need to start off with something small before you go big. There's no better place to start than a squip cave. Hunting down a couple of these little critters for yourself should keep you on your toes. I ready to shoot, but I'm ready to hunt. Let's do it. Says you stick to the haunting and shots present themselves later. I already done my guy. Before that, what is that right there? That seems like a cool ass weapon. That's probably what it's gonna give me when uh once I'm actually uh good to go, right? Once I'm actually at the uh done with this his mission, this little mission, so Alright, so we gotta go here. We're still in the dead zone. As long as we're in the dead zone, it's gonna be uh we gotta be careful, we gotta keep the suit on. Alright, so um what is that exactly? It's telling me there's a mission for me? What uh, what's it uh, what's it wanna talk Luke about? Says you should go hunt for squip. Okay, now alright, so he just wants me to, to go for the thing. Alright, I'll uh, I'll just do that. Hop on in. There we go. I'm gonna be just fine now. So there's there's this. He wants to talk to me, but uh, it's just uh, right now he can't. It's probably for the Ark and stuff, but uh, it's too late for that, unfortunately. I would have, uh, if I had known, boys, that this guy was a thing, I would I would have waited sure before doing anything else, else, right? I would have literally waited. All right, so shake up, shake up, go, go, go. I, there we go. I shook, I shook it up, boys. So let's keep uh, getting everything right here. All right, we good. Let's keep moving, boys. I don't think I, there's only a certain amount of, I guess, goo I can take. Oh, there we go. Take everything, boys. I guess I can't Wait, take uh, the uh, all the goo in the up. world, I guess. I don't know. This is super dog, uh, dark down here. What's going on here, man? A lot of, a lot of darkness. Oh, I'm getting the, the, the stuff right here. All right. Let me get out of my thing because I don't need it anymore. Not right now. And there's another one of those things. I got to go through that door right there, though. Let me interact with this first. Once the volatilization from the nuclear waste evaporated, a volatile gas rose through the soil and infested structures, even Toxanol's own buildings. So, in a way, they caused their own death. Very interesting. All right, let's keep moving. Uh, let's get through that. Oh, that's an elevator. How am I going to get... Well, I guess I can call my mount back if I need it, I guess. I think that's what's going to happen here. All right, so we got to clear that place up. Oh, uh, this is not good. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I died. Oh, my God. Didn't even realize there was goo right here. What the hell? All right, well, now that we know there's goo in here, which I can see a lot clearer, boys, we just got to be careful not to uh, jump into it. 
It's good. This is gonna be hard otherwise. So let's start with this. We're gonna drop uh, some water into the goo, and uh, we're gonna help our situation out a little bit further here. There we go. That should help out our situation, or maybe, yeah. So it just gives us another path to go at. So let's jump down right here. Ooh, I almost didn't make that. I was almost very bad, boys. All right, where do we go uh, from now? I got a feeling there's some stuff I could probably loot, but I'm just gonna keep moving. What is that? What is that thing right there, boys? I don't know what these uh, what these are, but I'll take them. That's for sure. So, oh, these are the quivs. Okay. Every bit so helps. these are the little things I gotta caught, I guess. Let me interact with this first, though, match. because this is uh, a puzzle I do want to do. There we go. Just, just like that, a rotation puzzle. It's gonna open the door for me, probably. That's usually what it does. Good. That's enough electric it did. Nice. The and the Good. So uh, it did uh, uh, do that. So perfect. I knew it. There's a weapon for me down here. Maybe if I can, uh, if I can get all of them, there's probably gonna give me a weapon or something. Oh, there it is. There's the guy. Yeah, I knew it. I can take the weapon right here, boys. How good is it though? Is it any good though? It's like a pistol of some sort. Yeah, I don't know. It's a mini pistol. It could be good. I uh, I'm not convinced about it though. I think uh, what I already have, boys, is good on its own. I think. So this is like 141. Yeah, it's better than the original gun I had, but uh, yeah, I don't really much care too. Uh, I don't really much care about it because the gun I already have is is good enough on its own. So we're going back home. Uh, back up. Uh, find the locker, it says. Oh, look at that. They're giving me all sorts of weapons right now, boys. This seems like a good one. Uh, if I upgrade it, it could be good. Uh, I already have one that's very similar, though. It's a two-handed sword, I guess. So, uh, let me see real quick. Oh, I just got to head back right here. I'm going to get this. There we go. Just get that thing right there. And uh, we're going to head back into my uh, big robot and uh, go back to Gizmo, I guess. Oh, we gotta head back to Gizmo? Oh, shit. Watch out now. There's a bunch of uh, attackers that we uh, we need to attack right there. All right, Smith, let, let, let me uh, ignore them all together. Where am I going right now? I just gotta get out of here, boys. Gotta get out of this area. As soon as we get, um, as soon as we get inside right there, we, uh, there we go. It's gonna be much better. So can I just fast travel though? I hope I can. Oh, I can't fast travel when I'm on the mount. Uh, that's right. That's the problem right here. Well, uh, I'll just go ahead and dismount myself really quick, cool. and uh, I'll go and uh, I'll go and fast travel right away. We're back at Gizmo's place. Let's get talk to him, boys. Probably gonna be able to get our upgrades uh, for the things, or I don't. I'm not sure. Not sure what's next exactly, but uh, we'll talk to him. I got your squids, my guy. So we're gonna be able to shoot. Yeah, he's gonna upgrade my uh, my thing. So we're gonna be able to shoot things now. Good. He says that's enough scripts to sustain the Mechton's claw crane cannon with infinite ammunition. Well done. Claw crane, huh? Can the Mechton move through goo? It's not his cleanest invention so far, but it gets the job done. Use it to suck up gooey oil puddles in the Mecton's way so you can pass. Gizmo's made vehicles before to confront the Jumbo Puff himself, but failed. But this time, it's different. The Mecton will be strong enough to do the job. It's time to put a stop to the World Eater now. Otherwise, he fears the damage it's caused to the tree already will be too much to handle. He asks you to not even think about taking on the Jumbo Puff on foot. You'll need the Mecton to do the job. Take his word for it. There's time to improve the Mecton before you confront the Puff. 
There are more wreck boxes out in the dead zone with gear you should be able to equip the Mechton with on your own. Caches of gear? Caches of gear strong enough? Do it myself? Can I do it myself? Be sure you remember enough of what he taught you about upsighting to fit some scronky gear to the Mechton on your own. Gizmo wants to help if he can. All right, so I've got to go. All right, so we good. We are basically good with that whole thing, boys. So um, now, now that it's done, we got to defeat the Jumbo Puff. Now, this is another one of those world eaters, though. Uh, do I actually need to do that? Or can I just leave altogether? Defeat the Jumbo uh, Puff, defeat all four. So I do have to defeat the, uh, the world eaters, it seems like. Um, the, here's the thing. I do want to upgrade my Mechton before attacking one of those big thingies, right? I feel like upgrading my uh, my Mechton would probably be the best choice right here. I feel at least like that's what I should be doing. I mean, what if I head back? I'm curious though. What if I head back to Out of Date's place and uh, head back to the Ark and we just leave once and for all? What if we just do that? What happens then? I'm curious, boys. Let's do that. All right, we're back here. So there's the uh, there's the Ark, right? We already know the uh, the Ark is right here. So we're gonna we're gonna go see the Ark real quick and see if uh, anything's change, if we can actually use it because everybody's gonna be waiting for me at the Ark right here. Everybody should be inside of it, so it should be ready to go. I hope so, right? If I want to leave, say instead of fighting the actual world eaters, uh, I should be able to go. Let's see what we got right here. Can we go? Out of date says that from what he's heard, you've been busy. He says he appreciates what you've done so far, but unfortunately he's got urgent news from his friend Noko in the east. Do you? Out of date says he knows you're good-hearted enough to do your best to support Noko. He says he'll point you in the right direction, but finding Noko and making sure she gets what she needs is up to you. Okay. That so what do we do good. then? Out of date was spot on. The hoof puff needs to be stopped. What would he need to be stopped for? Out of date says that Noko is worried now that the Eastern World Eater is stepping up its activity. He explains that Noko keeps a fabled steed that she has planned to ride out to the World Eater, but needs help to get it prepared. All right, so we got a brand new mission. So we gotta go talk to Noko, I guess. She's going to give me we're going to attack with her another world eater. As fast as possible and see what you can do to help. He's happy to help. There's something that needs to be okay, so I'm out of here. Okay, so we got a brand new mission. Brand new mission for a world another world eater, boys. Already defeated one of them. Now we got two of the uh, two more to get rid of. It looks like so visit no it seems like this what is might uh, this is what we might want to do today uh, we're gonna visit her and because I want to upgrade my mech tech uh, my mech uh, thing because my mech come before attacking the jumbo puff boys I want to do that for sure so not gonna do that just yet the Google light I still can't do anything about that so we're gonna have to wait things out for sure and uh, the rest well I, I, I guess it is what it is uh, so we're just gonna we're just gonna talk to Noko, uh, Noko, and uh, and get her help real quick. All right, Noko should be somewhere around here, boys. Seems like this might be her place. What is this uh, area? We got a brand new notice board as well. I'm gonna interact with it real quick, boys. It's gonna give me a location to go at, I guess. If you wander around here, you might find. Ah, there we go. It's just gonna give me the location of Noko. Once the power ran out. It made sense to ride gnotes, and that tradition continued through the years. Well, gnocks don't need, uh, don't require power, my guy. Nope, you still have to feed them, but food's easier to find than go juice. 
Watch your step here, and you might find tracks of another traveler. Another traveler, huh? So track the quest. Just keep, uh, just keep looking forward right here. Uh, I did unlock. So this is Noko's place. Unlock it. Uh, we're gonna fast travel. Uh, unlock the fast travel real quick. There we go. That's perfect. Now, where am I gonna find? This is Noko right here, probably. So follow the trail. Just gotta follow the trail, I guess. And where this, uh, where did this traveler go? Even under all the muck in the gnote pen. Hard to believe the gnotes didn't trample it. Uh, they aren't very fast. They seem faster than you. And don't forget that when you ride them, they do all the work to keep you moving. That's true. You should keep moving. Can't let those gnotes blaze the trails for you. All right, so side quest completed, just like that. That was an easy side quest, boys. Now we just gotta talk to Noko right here. She's uh, she's waiting on me, man. She's just standing there waiting on me. She seems like a traveler type for sure. Nooks isn't an easy language, but at least it's manageable. She says she is so happy to see you again. See me again? Have we have we uh, met each other? Remember her? She's Noko. She let you ride her majut when you were a kid. No, I don't remember you. Remembers you used to chase around with so much energy, and is glad to see you haven't lost any of that spark. But that's all long gone now, though. Memories show us where we've been, not where we're going. My memories are a blur, my guy, my girl. Is sure they'll come back on their own once you stop forcing them. Hopefully not to haunt you, though. You've suffered enough already. Noko remembers those days too, but she never lets herself wallow in them, no matter how tempting that can be. She sees your back to buck with Looper Lupin. Can't see how there's any way to avoid that now. Not for long, at least. She says the horrors of your younger days were enough to ruin anyone, but not you. You've got all that cheer about you still. Noko says history is like the trail you've been on. You can walk back down it any time you like until it's worn smooth. But you get to blaze your own trail from here. How many times are going to have to tell people that I want revenge, boys? I keep repeating myself. She wants Lupa Lupin to pay too, even though she strongly believes forgiveness is the strongest revenge. Asks how many paths you've wandered in the world, and if you ever wonder about what might have changed if you'd taken different ones. So little time, so many paths, I guess. The choices can be overwhelming, but you have to choose, or you just stay where you are. And what kind of choice is that? Hates to think of what's going to happen to all the gnotes when the world dies. Nothing left to care for. Hates that you didn't care enough about the world to fight for it. Can't believe you joined up with the Jagni. They're constantly pecking around looking for things to swipe. They only take the loose things, my girl. You're exaggerating. The Jagni are go uh, good people. If by loose you mean not nailed down, they keep trying to rustle her gnotes. But let's not speak of that now. She has an idea where the Majut might have gone, as there's no other place it likes as much as its own corner of the open wild. She's even named it the Majut Meadow. The Majut will recognize the scent you've attracted while being here, so it'll probably trust you enough to follow you. You should lead the Majut back here when you find it. It's going to take time to get it calm enough to be able to ride out to the World Eater. Why would it trust me, of all people? She can't be sure. You'll have to wait and see. Alrighty then. Let's wait and see then. Uh, Alright, so let's do that mission, I guess. Let's uh, let's go do it, boys. How do I... Where do I go from there? I guess uh, I'm just going to jump up right here. 
There we go. And uh, let's keep moving. We're going to take uh, my actual horse right here. Or uh, what am I at it, boys? Might as well. There we go. I might as well show you my bat. There it is. That's my little bat, boys. The now, my bat cannot fly. Animals. It can glide, basically. So if I uh, put myself in a strong uh, direction, I can glide with it and stuff. So that's how it works. So uh, it's basically like a normal mount. You can go pretty fast with it. But you can also glide with it. That's the advantage you got with the, the bat and all. So pretty good, boys. Pretty good mount overall. Let's keep moving, though. Let's keep moving. Woo! See that? I can glide with it in, in our beautiful little mount. All right, so we got to find the uh, our next mount, I guess. Uh, let's see what it's going to be all about, though. Hope it's not going to be too much trouble. Oh, I hope it's the mount that I can use for the place I'm stuck at right now in the side quest. I think it is. It might be. I hope it is, boys. We need to tag these guys. Boom. Boom. Get these guys. All right, they're all dead. Just like that. Easiest day, boys. Interact. Return the mount to, uh, to Moko. All right, so I think that's the, the person. Uh, I think that's the mount I needed right there. So we just got to return it, I guess. Fine by me. Let's go back to Noko, boys. Probably one of the easiest missions ever. Holy shit. It's going to be a lot of dialogues in this one, for sure. A lot of uh, dialogue going on. A flat? Big giant rat. What the hell? I don't need to fight it. I'm out. I'm not fighting the flat, boys. I'm out of here. Let's just uh, go talk to uh, Noko right here. We don't even need to, uh, to fight that thing. It's no use for it. All right, let's uh, let's do a thing right here, boys. Let's talk to uh, to Noko. Got your uh, got your mount, my girl. Now that the Majut is back in the pen, it seems calm, but Noko is still concerned. She says the Majut is still anxious, but fortunately, she knows just the thing it needs to calm down. The Majut once found and ate a bonbon gummy by mistake, and that the chewing really calmed it down. She says that you should find some bonbon gummies for the Majut by the crossway. At least, that's where she found some last time. Uh, where's the crossway at? It's easy to describe. A crossway is where roads meet in a knot and merge. This one is in Sector 7J, if you're familiar with Out of Date's map. I'm not, actually, but uh, we'll see. So uh, I gotta go there, I guess. Let's do that, boys. Let's find the, the bomb bomb gummies, whatever uh, she wants to call that. Let's take uh, my horse really quick, or my knot, if you want to call it our way. Let's take it and go towards there. There's uh, a beast right there we uh, probably could attack, but I'm not going to do it. Just gonna focus on riding towards the the location so uh it's not that far away actually these missions are kind of easy today uh not very far away easy to do pretty simple i like that i like that quite a lot boys there's uh someone selling stuff over here too which is really nice a crossway this means you have a choice to make which way got a good grip on that beastie excellent all right, so let's see how this boys. So it's already telling me where to go from there. So I gotta, um, I gotta cross all of this. So I gotta take that puzzle, I guess. So I gotta go and go to that building, I guess. So first things first, we are gonna do that. We are gonna jump on in. I got plenty of loot in that uh, those buildings, though. I'm gonna find a lot of uh, of loot for sure if I look around properly. I like the look of these uh, like towns that are destroyed and stuff. It reminds me a lot of uh, the good parts of Last of Us 2 and stuff. So I like that quite a lot, boys. It looks beautiful. It's just one of those looks that uh, I absolutely enjoy the most out of games, apocalyptic games. It's just uh, like the way it, the way it's made and stuff. It's just beautiful. I love it. All right, we got it, boys. I'm in it right now. I took uh, I took the rope. And now we just got to jump down and go into that building right here. We're going to find Crunch what we're looking for. Usually need it's literally well candies. That's all it is. I love it. Absolutely love it, boys. Just a few moves left. Make them there we go. So we got the candies and stuff. 
It's like a uh, little uh, gummies, I guess it is what it uh, it's exactly what it says it is. So that's pretty cool. Got uh, a new another puzzle. So we gotta find that uh, that thing right here. Okay, so find that thing right here. Oh, okay, so find that. There we go. Got it. I got the puzzle, boys. So that's perfect. And uh, that's another puzzle done, I guess. So perfect. Anything else? I think I just gotta go back to Noko now, though. Yeah, now that I'm done with uh, the mission, I got I, I just gotta head back to Noko. All right, so we're gonna do that in the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. See you guys uh, for the next one. Keep it easy.